Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where your Android phone, for some reason, it just doesn't respond to text or touch for that matter. Now, this is a very common issue. Sometimes, you know, I'll be honest, this may actually end up being a hardware issue. So it doesn't matter what you try here, your phone will always be messed up. And in that case, you may have to send it out to repair. So contact your manufacturer, whether it's Samsung, Google, whoever it is, and send it in and see if they can fix it. Now starting off, one of the main things you can do, in my opinion, and this may sound really, really weird, but simply just restarting your phone may actually end up fixing a majority of these issues. So what I do is I hold down the power button right here, and then eventually this little option will come up. It may look a little bit different, I am on Android 12. And then you wanna restart your phone. So right there's a restart panel. You simply just wanna restart it, and that may actually end up fixing the issue. Now again, it's not a guarantee, but sometimes may, this may end up fixing it. Now another thing what I do is I just kind of remember the name of my phone and I Google it and type in touch issues. So if I have a Pixel 5, I would type in you know Google Pixel 5 touch screen issues and see if a lot of people are complaining about it. If it's a known issue, then there's maybe you know somebody found a you know a troubleshooting you know fix for that. But if there's a lot of people complaining about it, then that's another reason why you may have to send it in to repair from you know Samsung or Google, whoever makes your device. And the next thing I would recommend doing is going inside of your settings just like so. You want to go inside of display, so right here is a little display option, and then you want to locate some of these specific settings. Specifically, at the bottom there's this thing where it says increased touch sensitivity and smooth display. Obviously smooth display is at 90Hz refresh rate, but below it is that increased touch sensitivity and you can always search for it through your settings. If this thing is on, sometimes this can actually go ahead and mess up sometimes if you're trying to double click or do things like that. This will essentially improve your specific display whenever you have a touch screen, you know, whenever you have a screen protector on it. Now on me, I don't have a screen protector, but there's a lot of times where a lot of people may have a screen protector installed on their device and that actually ends up messing with it. So that's another pretty, you know, massive thing I would recommend you to look at is to remove any of your screen protectors that you have on and see if it actually helps up the screen. If there's a lot of like random touch screen things that just glitches up your screen like this, that may be one of the easiest ways you can go ahead and fix this specific issue. Now if none of these things are working you can always factory reset your device by going into settings you want to go down to about to you want to go to system then you want to go to reset options and erase all you know data factory reset and that's essentially the last thing I'd recommend doing if that still doesn't work then you may have to send in your specific device for repair so that's essentially it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.